In 2016, the self-help industry was worth almost $10 billion. And by 2022, it's estimated that it'll be worth $13 billion. Now, what does that mean for you and me? Well, it simply means that the self-help industry has been around forever. And there's always been books like this by Napoleon Hill or Jim Rohn or Tony Robbins. And if you really think about it, everybody wants to make a lot of money and everybody wants to get wealthy. I mean, come on, nobody wakes up in the morning and is like, man, I just, I wish I could just lay around and be poor for the rest of my life. Like, that's not what people are thinking about. But why doesn't everybody actually get wealthy then? Like, think about it for a second. Why don't people make a lot of money? Why don't people achieve their goals and their dreams? I mean, if books like this supposedly have all of the answers, then why don't people actually go make it happen? And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video right now. These are gonna be my top three reasons why I think in 2020, you will not become wealthy. Reason number one that you'll never be wealthy is that you have a scarcity mindset. Now, you might be like, hey Austin, this is just another one of those videos like all of the other YouTubers out there talking about a bunch of BS and not actually providing real value on what it takes to become wealthy. But I promise you that having a scarcity mindset is one of the biggest things preventing you from making a lot of money. One of my favorite affirmations is it's already happened. Now, it's funny because I was actually just reading this book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And if you're not familiar with this book, you should definitely go grab it. But he's talking about something in here called auto-suggestion. Now, auto-suggestion is essentially just suggesting to your subconscious mind that things have already happened. See, here's the thing with human beings. Human beings, the human brain, can't actually tell the difference between what is real and what isn't real. So if you can actually figure out how to convince yourself that it's already happened, whatever the goal or whatever the dream is, then the reality of it is you'll actually end up attracting that exact same thing into your life. I know, sounds pretty crazy, and if you've never experienced it before, then it will sound a bit insane, but make sure you stay to the end of the video because I promise you that these reasons will help you become wealthy or at least make some extra money. So basically the concept of it is, is that your mind is extremely powerful, way more powerful than you or I could ever imagine. And you've gotta actually literally think things into existence. And again, it does sound insane. But I promise you, if you stay to the end of the video and you smash that like button, uh, that it's actually not insane, okay? It's very realistic to think things into existence. Another reason you're not gonna get wealthy in 2020 is because you're not good with people. Now, you might be like, Austin, what does that have anything to do with becoming wealthy? I can sit on my couch in my living room and start a Shopify store in my pajamas and make a million dollars. And I know, I get it. There's a lot of hype on social media right now about making money with your boxes on, but at the end of the day, you've gotta be good with people to make a lot of money, right? I mean, think about it for a second. People have your money. People have problems. And in order to make a lot of money, you've gotta have a solution to people's problems. I was reading another book again recently called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And if you haven't read this book, I highly recommend that you check it out and you read it because again, getting good with people will change your entire life. I'm telling you right now, mark my words, getting good with people will literally be uh, the paradigm shift that you've been waiting for. Now, you might be asking yourself like, why is that the case? And the reason why is because you've got to be able to convince other people that you've got the solution to their problem. I mean, if you can't talk to people, you can't do anything at the end of the day. You can't work at McDonald's. You can't be a server, right? There's not a whole lot you can do in the world, again, other than sitting on your couch and making a million dollars on Shopify and posting a bunch of cool pictures on Instagram like all these other influencers. Other than that, you've gotta be good with people, okay? And even if you're an influencer, I promise you, you still have to be good with people. Now, look, even if you're a doctor or a lawyer or an app developer, it doesn't really matter. You've gotta be good with people and you've gotta be good at selling yourself. Now, a lot of people, they call me all the time and they text me and they email me. They're like, Austin, if I'm a doctor or a lawyer, you know, why do I have to be big on social media or why do I have to like, you know, get along with people or be able to sell people? And the reality of it is, if you're a doctor, you've got to tell people that you're the best doctor in the world, right? You're the best dentist in the world and you can make my teeth wider than any other dentist on the face of the planet, okay? So you've got to be good with people and you've got to know how to sell yourself. You know, another thing that you have to understand is that there's different personality types, right? You've got about four different personality types and if you're not good with people, what's gonna happen is you're going to act the way that you want to act, not the way that you need to act with that different personality type. 
So understanding that mirroring and matching, again, go ahead and look it up. There's a ton of research on mirroring and matching. And basically that is where you understand the personality type of the person that you're talking to and you learn how to mirror and match them. That way they automatically drop their guard and you build a higher level of rapport with that person at a very surface and basic level. So at the end of the day, just basically understand that you've got you've to be good with people, right? You have to go out there and you've got to master this skill. Whatever means necessary, you need to make it happen if you want to become wealthy in 2020 or make a bunch of additional money. Last but not least, you don't have a good relationship with money. Now, you're like, Austin, what does that even mean? I love money. and. I, I put all of it in my piggy bank every night and I collect it and I look at it and I, and I breathe on it and I pray about it and that is not what I'm talking about, okay? What I'm talking about is your relationship with money isn't good. How you think about money isn't good. The way that you think about money isn't good, right? Not if you wanna become wealthy at least. A lot of people protect money and I want you to think about something for a minute. You know, a lot of people, they, they start a savings account and they have a Roth IRA and a 401k and they invest in, in, in a bond or, or a CD or, or their retirement account or whatever and, and they protect money their whole life. Like, like it's this thing that's gonna save them from a burning building or whatever the case is. And I, I wanna challenge that thought process a little bit. I, I want you to take a step back just for a moment before you click off this video and just think about why. Why do you protect money like that? And what is it used for? I mean, literally, if you're, if you're watching this right now, t pull out some money and sit it on the countertop in front of you or the desk in front of you and, and, and just sit there and, and don't do anything and, and just wait. I'm gonna wait for you to do it. J just wait for a minute and just see, does the money actually do anything? Or, or does it just sit there forever and ever and ever and ever? And the moral of what I'm talking about is basically you've got to get money to work, right? You've got to put the money to work. The money isn't just going to go to work all by itself. With inflation on the rise, you're actually losing money by saving money. The inflation right now on average is about 1.6%, meaning at the highest possible interest rate savings account that you're going to get being about 1.8%, depending on where you look, you're really not making any money. As a matter of fact, most likely you're actually losing money. So by saving money, you're losing money. So what you've got to learn to understand is that money is a tool. It's a, it's a resource essentially. And a lot of people don't look at it that way. So uh, me personally, I go broke multiple times a year. And what I mean by that is I'm actually making a bunch of money through earned income. And then I'm taking all of my earned income and I'm actually putting it to work. I'm investing it into real estate, right? Into things that will pay me into the ATM business, into multiple different industries that will pay me over and over and over again, creating what they call passive income, right? Now, I actually live my life on passive income, not on earned income. So the earned income is getting reinvested and then I live my life off of the passive income that I made from the invested earned income. Now, the moment that you begin to understand this is a moment that you can become wealthy. And you don't need to make $100,000 a year or any of these crazy astronomical numbers like you see to begin to start doing this. It's a matter of taking baby steps one day at a time. And sure, you might have to save money for a week or a month or maybe even six months to be able to take that money and invest it. But ultimately, the moral of the story is don't just save to save. Save to invest. But stop saving just to save. So basically, just start to think about money differently. Stop thinking about it like everybody else. You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. My mentor told me that a long time ago, and that really hits home with me when I talk about money, right? You know, if you don't have what you want right now, then you're probably not gonna get what you want by doing the same thing again tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day, or the next day. The only way that things are going to change is if you change. And you've gotta start by thinking about these things differently. Start by thinking about money differently, right? And start today. Stop waiting. It's about to be the new year, or if you're watching this right now, it might already be the new year, but moral of the story is to stop waiting. Today's the day that you thought about yesterday. Today's the day that you said tomorrow, yesterday. 
So go ahead, get out there. Make your goals and your dreams a reality. I know that if I can do it, so can you. Go ahead, again, please smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me with the algorithm gods of YouTube. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.